Hello guys, happy Halloween, and welcome back to the bench. And uh, today we're going to go over Mr. Metallic Color by Mr. Hobby. And um, uh, of all the paints I test, I, uh, I always fall back on these uh, Mr. Colors. They're my favorite brand of paint. They just work every time. The price is right. Um, this is the standard colors. You know, you come in these uh, Mr. Color labeling is their standard lacquers. The cover shows the color perfectly, and uh, the nice big bold number in the front. And uh, I get these for under three bucks a piece, and um, you really can't be beat. You, being a lacquer, you you go at least 50/50 on thinning them, so you're doubling this jar at a minimum, probably even more, because uh, I go 60, 40, even 70, 30 thinner to paint, and uh, it just goes on perfect every time. It dries durable. I, I just love the brand, and. Um, but today, because I have so many different uh, uh, types of colors in the lineup, you know, they change everything up a little bit as far as the name goes. And these are called Mr. Metallic Color GX. Let's try and get the light here for you. And uh, these are labeled nice big bold numbers too, but they'll have a GX before the number. And so if the numbers are the same in the Mr. Color lineup, that separates the two by putting the GX in the front. Um, let's go over them in order. I don't know why I put these on top. I shouldn't have. So we'll go over the colors quick, and then we'll show you how good these look sprayed on. All right, here we go. Uh, 201 is metal black. 202, metal red. 203, oh, where are we? Metal yellow. Mellow yellow. Is that a drink? 204, metal blue. Wow, that's nice looking. 205. Metal green. 206, metal purple. Would that be deep purple? That's hard rock, right? 207, metal violet. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Metal's my favorite music, so I love these paints already. Rough silver, 208. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's a real thick, heavy metallic. 209, red gold. It just looks like gold here. All right, let's keep going. 210, blue gold. Almost looks like this one. Oh, no, the shade's completely different. I see it. Oh, 211, yellow green. I'm leaving out the name. of the. It's metal yellow green. I should give the full name there. All right, 212, metal peach. Oh, that's nice. Uh, 213, white silver. Look at that. Oh, that looks cool. That's like a pearl white. Uh, 214, ice silver. Wow, I like that. It's almost a bluish silver. Can you see it? Oh, I really like that. 215, metal bloody red. Now, this sounds like a heavy metal song. All right, 216, metal dark blue, and 217, rough gold. Again, that looks like another with the thick flakes. Pretty nice, though. And uh, I want to let you guys know, that's every one in the lineup. This is every color they make for the lineup. This 201 to 217 is it. I was missing one color. And uh, I ordered it so I could do the review for every color. It was this 207 I was out. And uh, Gundam Planet had it. And that's where I got it from. All right. So we're going to thin these babies up. We're going to put them in the airbrush. We're going to use my... Let me see. I'm going to use my Patriot 105 for this. Uh, this is my biggest needle. It's a .55 millimeter, I believe. And um, I'm going to go with the thicker needle across the board. Because you've seen the rough ones. They have a lot of fl a big flake. And um, this pushes through anything uh, as far as the size of the uh, the metal flakes go. So I'm going to stick with that so we get the same results across the board. I'm going to use that airbrush right across the board. We're going to spray it on a gloss black spoon, a gloss white plastic spoon. This is There's nothing on this. This is just the spoon. 
and I got these uh, chrome plated cocktail spoons at the dollar store so we'll see how it looks going over chrome and uh, along the way I'll pick a couple colors and uh, I'll spray maybe a Gundam piece or a uh, different color bases we'll go maybe put some red over red we'll, we'll see what results uh, that gives I'm gonna spray five of these on camera the rest I spray off camera and um, after that we're gonna go over the results here at the bench but for now let's head over to the booth and start the process I want you guys to know you should if you painting a bunch like I am you got to start your lighter color and go back um, like in this batch I would probably go here you know and then into the golds maybe then to the greens the blues and then the reds and then this black so you just got to play it out you know like the dark in your airbrush but uh, it cleans out really good anyway with a shot of lacquer thinner it, it, it cleans right out of the airbrush like nothing it doesn't even have any tip dry it's perfect so um, that's it let's head over to the booth I'll pick out five of these and um, I'm going to show you how beautiful these colors are. We'll see you at the booth. Alright guys, here we are at the booth. I'm going to start with GX210 Blue Gold. I've already poured it in, you can see it. And uh, let's start off with a black spoon. This is Tamiya. Uh, spray can gloss black. I prep all my spoons early with it and um, If I have the time then I'll uh, Do my all clad gloss black or any gloss black. You can actually use uh, Mr. Color gloss black. It works great Making sure this is clean We're gonna go over it quick. It's gonna cover particularly these golds. They seem to cover really quick Look at that but um, It's not the look it's not like all clad. You gotta actually cover these paints till you get a shine. So, oh, beautiful! It's, it's got that plated gold look. Look at that! Wow, very nice. Let's see what it looks like over white. It's got a different hue to it all together but it has that all clad look where you don't see the metal flake in this one that was unexpected look at that it covers really quick I don't know if this is going to do anything but let's try it at the end of the test we'll be able to compare them side by side see if there's a big difference really nice um, let me see if we can try something here I try it on a random Gundam piece here's one that's already done in silver let's see if it covers this nice it does it covers it really good look at that again we'll go over this uh, once it's done and uh, I don't think there's going to be a difference, but let's try it over uh, matte black instead of gloss black. I'm not going to know what it looks like until it's dry, but it covers plastic really well. It just it just covers right over it. You don't even need a primer or anything, really. Look at that. Oh. That's good. Let's see how it looks over like a red, and then uh, we'll move on to the next color. Well, it covers pretty fast. Well, again, until I put them side by side, we're not going to see the difference. But, uh, yeah, it looks great. All right, let me put this aside, and uh, I'll move on to the next color. Let me clean this out. I'll be right back. All right, guys, back again with uh, 214 Ice Silver. Again, it looks like a blue. Well, let's see what we got. This Badger airbrushes it really good. There's a quick coating. You can kind of see it there. Um, the uh, air compressor is set for 15 PSI, but that's what this brush calls for. It's a real efficient airbrush. It, it doesn't need a lot of air. To push the paint and go figure it pushes a lot of paint too there we go 
Real nice looking. All right. Let's see what we get over white. You get a completely different look over white. I love that about these paints. You're getting, uh, you know, multiple colors for uh, one jar, you know? Again, this is more of a silver. You can see the bluish in it right there. Wow, that looks great. Uh, all right, let's try it over this chrome. Almost, it gives it a candy look, but it picks up on the metal flakes quite a bit. But again, I just want to see how everything looks over different. Oh, that's really nice. See what this looks like over blue. And this is a blue of itself. So let's see what we get. Hey, you can stop it right there. Look at that. Almost like that holographic paint that I have. But this is meant to be covered. It's not like the chrome with the light layering. You gotta get that shine to it, and there it is. It does show the blue through it, which is pretty cool. Real nice. All right, let me clean this out. We'll move on to another color. All right, guys, continuing on, we're going to go with 215 Metal Bloody Red. Now, that's a color for Halloween, huh? All right. Let's see it over black here. Let's see what we get. Is I don't know if it dries rough or not. You'd have to put a clear if you just wanted to give it this look. But after some inquiring, it is meant to go on like a lacquer. You're going to coat it like I am right now and get the sheen, that nice glossy shine to it. And there it is. That's what you're left with. That's a really nice looking red, too. All right, put that away. Let's go with white. Covers quick. Let's try it some more here. Lacquer spray are much different from an acrylics. You can just go right on. This and enamels are really the easiest of the paints. Check that out. Totally different shade. All right, let's try it over the chrome. These spoons are all marked up. But yeah, from the dollar store. There's nothing special there. But I just wanted to see how it looked over chrome. Nice. Not bad. Again, we'll check it out at the bench. Let's try something different, guys. Let's put it over a gumpla piece. And this is a gray base. So let's see what we get. Again, it covers nice. This airbrush is like it's made for it. Real nice. It covers really nice. Hope it dries nice and smooth like this. Look at that. That is sharp. That's beautiful. All right. I guess that's it. Let's try it over. Uh... Sorry about my voice. I'm turning away. Let's try it over this red plastic. I bought a bunch of uh, colored plastic utensils. See them? I think it'd be good for testing. And uh, we'll try it now. Yeah, it's just going to blend in with it, but give it a metallic. We'll check it out at the bench, but it looks really good. It's almost the same color as this butter knife. Wow, it looks great. Anyway, all right, guys. Put this aside. Let me clean this out. We'll move on. We'll do the green next. All right, guys. Here we go on with, uh, what do we got in here? Metal green. 205. Let's check out how green looks. Goes over almost a silvery blue. Really nice. I guess you could stop here if you wanted. But it has a rough look to it. So uh, from here, I guess you would have to clear it. 
or matte coat it to get a nice smooth finish. Again, we're going to load it up because we want to see what the color actually is. Again, it's a really nice looking green too. Look at that. Wow, that's beautiful. Let's try it over white. And it looks like only the black you can get away with putting a light coat. Really good looking green though. All right, let's try it over this chrome. I got some candy tests coming up. We're gonna use these chrome spoons for that. Really good to have for, for reference because they're tiny. Don't take up a lot of room either. That looks great. I don't know what else to try it on. Let's see. It look good over red, you know. No, not bad. It has a different look to it. Look at that. Wow, not bad. Let's try it over the flat black spoon. With this, I'll go a nice light coat and see what we get. I'll leave it at that. Much deeper. Look at that. More of an emerald color. Beautiful. Hurrah. Okay, guys. One more color to go. We'll do this blue, and then we'll go over the results. All right, guys. Last color on camera will be this blue. Dark. Oh, wait. Metal dark blue and I have high hopes for this because I love these deep blue colors so let's see what we get a lot of them have just a silver sheen when you first put it on I'm guessing that's the uh, the metal flake hitting the the silver flakes hitting first oh, here we go check that out oh that is nice Ah, oh, it's a great color. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's see what it looks like over white. First coat. Boy, this, between this airbrush and the uh, Mr. Color paints, you can almost can't do any wrong here. Look at that, much brighter over white. Alright, let's try it over this. That's a crappy looking one. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Let's try it over a Gundam piece. This is a part I just cut off a runner and it's it's kind of a neutral gray color. So let's see what this does over that. Got the top. There we go. It came out good. Real good. Excellent. All right. All right, guys. That's what I'm going to do on camera. I actually painted every single color in the lineup. So you guys can see the entire lineup. And um, let me clean this out. Head back to the bench. And we'll go over the results. All right, guys. Let's go over the results. I'm back at the bench. I'm going to go over them in no particular order. Uh, added a few uh, Halloween decorations to the bench. Uh, my dad, God rest his soul, he uh, he uh, he was a craftsman himself. He was he started out spray painting. That's where I got it from. He spray painted his whole life, um, and then uh, when he retired, he got into cutting these scroll saw designs out and painting them and whatnot. And uh, this is all the stuff that um, I have of his, and uh, I figured I put it out on the bench. Um, to match today's theme. All right, let's go in. We got 214 here. This is ice silver. We'll start with it over black. And uh, very nice. It's got that bluish look just like it has. You can see it in the reflection. It actually matches perfect. Look at that. And um, 
It does have a flaky look to it, but this is metallic. I mean, it's not going to be a, a, a really matted look. It's going to be a, a bright metallic. This is it over white, a completely different look. Look at that. And that's straight over plastic. It's super durable. It sticks to anything. You didn't really need a primer at all. All right, and this is it over the chrome spoon. You can kind of see the bluing in it with the light. Almost a color shift effect, huh, guys? Because looking at it here, it just looks like pure silver, like this cap. Wow, that's cool. And this is it. I got these blue plastic spoons, and I just sprayed it over it. And you can see it has that silver shimmer. Again, almost a color shift effect, all right? Let's move on here. We got a lot to go through. I don't want to take a long time. Now, this is the shocker for me. The gold here, which one is this? 210 blue gold. But it, this actually did dry as an all clad would dry. No, almost no metal flake at all, like a pure plated silver. Isn't that beautiful? This is it over the black spoon with no gloss thing. This was the gloss coated spoon. Almost the same. It sticks to anything really good. These lacquers are great. This is it over white. So let's go to opposites here. You almost can't tell the difference. So it really didn't matter at all. It has a really heavy pigment to it. It covered up this chrome, <laughs> this chrome spoon. So this really didn't have that same effect as the others. It seems out of place in the lineup, to tell you the truth. Well, I mean, it covered this red like it was nothing. You know, it does look good on a Gundam piece, though. Look at this. So it doesn't take away any details. It dried nice, but this this particular color is... Boy, I mean, what are these? Three, maybe four bucks? They're half the price of an all clad. If you need a gold from all clad, just get this. You're going to cut your price in half right there. That's a beautiful color. This is uh, GX216 Metal Dark Blue. This is over black. Beautiful color. Let's compare it to white. That's over white. This is just the plastic spoon. No uh, primer at all. This is it over chrome. Again, you're not getting a candy effect. If you guys can see, you probably can't. It, you can see the metal flakes um, that you would see in the other pieces. It, it shows the metal flake through. So you're not going to quite get a nice candy, pure candy effect. But still a nice effect. This is it over the, uh, that gray Gundam piece. Hold on, guys. Let me get something that I can hold it up with so you guys can see it a little better. Look at that. It coated that nice. That's straight on the gray plastic right off of the runner. So, terrific color. I really like blues. That's a great color. All right, next up is 205 Metal Green. We'll start with Over Black, which is this one. That's a nice look. Let's check it compared to white. Oh, that's two different looks. I guess if you want to do a two-tone kit, right, you get pick your color, and you just, you know, Spray it with white or black, and then that's it. You spray it over, and you're going to get your two-tone kit right there. I mean, this, this is the same color out of the same jar. You just saved yourself. Look at that. This is it over chrome. This is it over a black plastic spoon. No shine at all. I went very light on it, so we can get kind of a different look. See it? So when I wanted to try it to show you guys lightly you are going to see you know, it's not going to be a smooth green you're going to have kind of a, a metallic -y look to it but still has a nice look oh let's see how it went over the red it's over a black just regular plastic red knife kind of covered pretty good actually no it's it's, it's got a different look to it all right all right, guys, let me pause the camera and get some more. All right, guys, next up, I got these trays for the rest of them, so it'll be easier to swap out. I won't have to pause the camera. And we just put the bottle right in there that represents. This is 203 Metal Yellow. All right. First over black. How much does it match the... Eh, it kind of matches. That's really nice. That's really nice. Sorry about the reflection. Can I get this out of the way? It's tough to get these lights to not reflect. Then I get no light, so you're going to get that. But, eh, you get the effect. You get the effect. This is it over white. Again, a completely different look. Look at that. 
I favor this side because that's where I'm sitting. I'll try and get it in the middle for you guys. This is, what was this over? Gray? Oh, this is over gold. I could tell because I had this old piece. I had run gold. So it was uh, gold like an all-clad gold. I sprayed it over it and uh, really came up with another look. It just enhanced the gold. This is it over the chrome. Over a blue or a red knife. Turns it actually green, which would make sense. And this is a Gundam piece that uh, I had sprayed yellow. I was testing one of my colors for my lineup. And uh, it was sitting there. So I said, let me try to put this over it. And that's what we got. Kind of a golden yellow. Really nice. All right, next up, 207. This is violet. All right, that's over the black. How nice is that? Boy, that matches perfect, huh? Over white. Over the chrome. Over this blue spoon. I figured try it over a dark color. Oh, it's totally different. It looks like this blue, like it didn't cover, but it did. It's just, it's got that color shift effect. And check this out. I did this Gundam piece. How nice is that? Look at that. Looks like one of the special coating kits. Beautiful paint. Beautiful paint. This Mr. Mr. Color never lets me down. This is Metal Peach. There we go. There was this over black, but that's nice. That is nice. Over the white. This looks like the Trans Am colors. I have that, that uh, let me see, it's in the corner here. Seven Swords Gundam, Trans Am. Uh, special kit, it's got the special coating, and it looks like this. This is it over red. And this is it over chrome. Real nice color. That's a sleeper. That's uh, that. That is the Trans Am color on the kit. It's actually what I'm working on for my color lineup. I'm working on anodized metal colors. That's uh, the first things I'm going to release. That's the color I love. Sorry, guys. I'm off camera. Let me grab another set. Well, off camera here. Let's grab this one. This is 202 Metal Red. This is close to the Blood Metal Red, but... Uh, it's a little bit lighter. Wow, that is beautiful. Is that a beautiful color? Wow. This is over white. Wow, two different colors right there. Wow, I love this one. Over the chrome. Over red itself, a red spoon. That is awesome. I have this corrugated plastic I got from... Uh, I think it was Joanne Fabrics or one of the hobby type stores. I bought a whole sheet of it for, I had trouble getting spoons for a few weeks there, so I grabbed this stuff. And this is nothing on it. This side is primer. See it? See the primer? But this side is just, I just flipped it and I just wanted to spray this red over it and see what we came up with. And that's it, just sprayed over this plastic. And it's not quite white or gray, it's kind of a milky whitish color. Look at that. So it covers really nice and it's super durable. I mean, Oh, there we go. It's coming off here. Oh, no, why? This is like a coated plastic. That's why. So you can't go by that because it doesn't come off here at all. So you know, whatever this plastic is, it's got a weird milky look to it. Anyway, that's a cool color. All right, let's move in. 211. Yellow green. Over black. Over white. Wow, there's two different colors. Over chrome. Over blue, straight blue plastic, covered pretty nice. And uh, I took this to show you, this is a matte green. I was testing some other paints and I had uh, the spoon with this color on it. So I figured let's spray this green over that. 
So that's the base, and that's what we came up with. So it's between the, it's between all of them. It's pretty nice, actually. It covered the green really nice. Excellent. All right, what do we have here? Metal purple. Over black. Wow, that's good looking. Over white. Almost a pink. Where's the chrome? Here it is. The black really gives it its real deep, deep look. This is over the gunman piece. I think this was just gray or this was silver primered. Look how nice. This is over blue. And over the red plastic knife. So you can get a lot of different effects. All right, 213, white, silver. All right, over black. Check that out. Not quite chrome. It's a little blotchy looking for chrome. Let's check it out over white. Now that's different. That's like pearl white. I don't know what it looks like on the jar. Oh man, it's, it's white on the jar. Spot. I guess it's supposed to look like that. I don't know why I sprayed it over chrome, but it actually covered the chrome pretty good because that's what it looks like otherwise. And I sprayed it over a purple spoon. Look at that. So this will give you several effects by going over other colors. Wow, it's beautiful. All right, grab another tray. Right behind you guys, we're getting there, we're almost done. This is Bloody Red. 215. I did a bunch of variations on this because I wanted to see how it looked with a lot of coverage, a little bit of coverage. So this is a lot of coverage. I mean, this is lightly and this is heavy over black. See the difference? And this is it over white in different amounts. I took one to experiment with different shadings. This is all the same color. How great is that? So that's what you're going to get if you adjust your uh, spray patterns. I can't do this on the f camera. It takes all day to, you know, as it is, I'm passing the 30 minute mark just showing the colors. But that's to show you guys what you're going to get when you uh, put different layers. This is over a red spoon. Looks great. That looks cool. And that's over the red plastic knife. Different layers. You know, I went heavy on this. I went light on this. See it? And this is, this is from the same set. Over chrome, light, and then a heavy coating. So basically, you need just one jar of this instead of getting the lighter red. You know, and getting those results. And this is it over a Gumpla piece. All right. G. Oh, this is 201. This is black. This is their metal black. This is the first one in the lineup. That's it over black. How nice is that? I'd say gunmetal blue, but. I'm working on my own personal gunmetal blue for my lineup. That's gunmetal blue. And this is a lighter gunmetal blue. So, nope, that's not that. That's a metallic black. This is it over white. That would make a nice dual shaded kit right there. This is it over the chrome. Didn't do much, it covered it right up. This is over blue. And this is a Gundam piece I sprayed. And again, it, it covers these Gundam pieces really nice. I didn't trim it and cut, I just cut it off while I was airbrushing with one hand. It's just so I, I tried it at the last minute. But it keeps all the panel lines. It doesn't take away anything. That's a great color. Metal black. All right, 209, red gold. Yeah, again, the golds in this lineup I really like. There's no difference on any of these. I'm going to hold them all up. They just covered everything. For some reason, these don't seem like they belong in the lineup. They seem like more of a metalizer color, an all clad, because they're just a beautiful plated gold. It just covered everything. It didn't even matter if it was over the chrome. But look at how nice I did this Gunpla piece. Look at that. 
I mean, it looks like it came plated in that color. So, the golds are fantastic. However, they don't have that metallic look like these other ones do. But I've always said they make the best golds. The Mr. Color lineup has great golds in it. All right, guys, this is it. This is the end. Let's see what we got. Rough silver. Let's see what that is. Yeah, it's definitely got the sparklies. Can you see it? This one I don't like. It's too... Uh, it doesn't blend. It doesn't match the rest of the lineup. It's a little gaudy. This, this is over. It's pretty cool over blue, though. But still has... The flakes are too big for me. When, you, when I see the term rough, I know it's going to be a, a chunky metal flake. That I don't like. But it could be something you're looking for. Who knows? This is rough gold. Now this I, is the one gold in the lineup that doesn't match the other golds. I'll grab one now. So yeah, that's the gold we just did. See how I'm saying there's no flakes in there, all the other golds at all. That's over black. This is over white. Over the chrome. Well, that that's a candy look. Over a red knife. Got that color shift. Well, that blinding right there. And this is an orange spoon. I've been testing some orange, orange, for uh, my lineup. So I was testing on this clear spoon to see how it came, and uh, I had it half sprayed. So what I did was I took it and just sprayed over that orange. You could see the orange. So I gave it a nice look to it. I like it. But again, that's the. I'm not wild about the rough colored lineup. The flakes are a little large for me. 204, metal blue. This is beautiful. Look at this. That's over black, and this is over white. Fantastic. That would make a great kit. A Comfair. Or the, the Goof Custom. Oh, that would look awesome. And this is it over chrome. Pretty much close to the black. And that's it. That is every color I wanted to show you. Let me make sure. Oops, sorry guys, I hit the camera. Nope, I think that's it. That's every color. Fantastic. All right, let me get this out of the way, and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, I thinned, uh, I tried both thinners with these, the leveling and rapid. They seem to both work the same. It dried really quickly. Um, I wasn't putting heavy layers, but uh, either one of those will work great. And um, this airbrush painted them really good, this Badger. 105 Patriot. I'll put a link below um, for the brush, particularly for clears, heavy metallics, and primers. I use this for all of the all those purposes. And like I said, I'm still working on my lineup, guys. This is my uh, this is a transparent gun metal blue. This is over a silver. This is over black. Is that a great effect or what? I can't wait for you guys to see this stuff. And this is a. Uh, these are enamels, so you can brush these, or you can airbrush them. These are airbrushed. And uh, that's it. My aluminum, aluminum, uh, Duralumin Tough test is coming up soon. And as we approach 30,000 subscribers, thank you guys, uh, I'll be giving away uh, a few of these uh, in that particular video when we reach that milestone. And uh, these are available only at Target. And um, I was able to grab a few. The uh, Gundam American Type really cool looking and it's an exclusive so it's really unique so uh, I'm gonna give a few of these away in an upcoming video once we hit 30,000 subscribers and uh, be on the look for that guys and once again thank you so much for watching please like the video and if you haven't already subscribe as I have a ton more videos to go uh, it's tough to keep up and I'm also developing the paint line as I go along so uh, we've been quite busy and I do appreciate you guys very much. Ask me any questions you want. I get back to all of you. And uh, have a happy Halloween. Um, it's almost that time for me to go put the lights on outside. And uh, see who comes to the door. And uh, anyway, guys, you have a great weekend. And we'll see you during the week. Have a good one.